Last week, Earthbound was invited to Lombok by the founder of Ocean's Care, Britta Slippens. Britta has been sailing around the islands of Indonesia for over 20 years. She has this really cool boat that looks like a pirate ship, but is actually a traditional boat called a panisi. But there was something else she really wanted us to see. The Jangkuk River is the largest river in Lombok and flows straight through the cities and directly into the ocean. With the introduction of single-use plastics, the Jangkuk River has become completely clogged with trash. Berta wanted us to see this problem firsthand. The trash problem is so bad that people are trying to scoop up rubbish with their bare hands. While we were there, we also met a community of artists, musicians, and journalists who have rallied around this issue to raise awareness and funds for the cleanup effort. One of our tagline of our movement is we call Suara Sungai in Indonesia. In English, we call it maybe kind of like Suara Sungai is the sound of the river. The sound of the river that we're trying to campaign here, it's not about the good sounds of the river. It's not, the, the river is not singing, I think. It's the scream of the river that we're trying to campaign to all the people around. We also met a family living under the bridge. They're trying to survive by collecting recyclables so that they can buy rice. So, ini lagi apa di sini? This is the sleeping quarters. That's where they sleep. She eats once a day in the night. No breakfast. Untuk semuanya, untuk hati kuat juga. Terima kasih. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> All these people have to, they're, they're very happy living this life. It's just hard to walk away and without, like, without just maybe giving a part of myself or feeling really spoiled. What could we do to help? We met with the kids from a local school. And then we worked together to clean the beach. Beach cleanups aren't exactly the final solution, but it's a great step towards it, and it's a great way to raise awareness. I'm very pity that about this is many rubbish plastic, all the uh, bits. You know, it's like that. This lovely woman, Aisha, taught us how to make crafts out of the unrecyclable plastic. And then bottle, and then snack, and then especially this. This is very, very dangerous for the ecology in the ocean. And then we are in rubbish bank. We product this rubbish bank 
we make a upcycle to be this bag. This bag or this bag. Today we had a workshop um, on how to make bracelets like that out of trash um, from these two beautiful ladies. They're called Aisha and Ida. And right now, what are we doing, Kyla? Well, right now we already finished our workshop with them and we had lunch. And now we invited all the local students to come and make them with us. And so we're making some more. And everyone's just kind of come in and join. And it's really fun. We're just giggling and talking and making bracelets. And we also made some great friends. After we left, we heard that Aisha and the kids from the local school continued to make crafts together. Does anybody still want all of this plastic junk? Going to Lombok really opened our eyes to the devastation the single-use plastic is causing. But it also showed us that there was a lot of people that felt the same way as we do. We also saw that a little bit of effort can go a long way.